Hey guys, welcome to Great Learning. Installing and setting up Python can get tricky, especially if you're a beginner who's just getting started with Python. There are many ways to set up Python on multiple platforms and it can get pretty complex sometimes. But to solve this issue, there are many Python distribution platforms that will help you install and set up Python with just a few clicks of your mouse button. Now, Anaconda is one such distribution platform that does just this. So let me show you how you can exactly set up Python and work with it in the easiest way possible. With that, I know you guys are excited to get Python all set up and get it ready for the hello world. So what are we waiting for? My name is Anirudh Rao. Let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. All right, guys. So for the first step to install Anaconda Python is to actually head to Google and just search for Anaconda Python, right? Now, as soon as you search for Anaconda Python, uh, you will be given with the first two links, the individual edition and the Anaconda's website. Let's quickly take a look at the Anaconda's website. Uh, you know, here you will have a lot of uh, information. For example, there's a lot of products here. There's pricing as well, right? Now, some of these distribution uh, is basically open source. As you can see, the individual edition is what we are after because this is, again, completely free to use for, uh, you know, uh, personal and commercial use as well. But of course, you have the commercial edition, the team edition, enterprise edition, which again costs an, a good amount of money. Now, since we're looking at the individual edition, let me just quickly click on the individual edition there. So in this particular case, we are actually setting up Anaconda for Windows, right? This is a Windows machine. Now, if you did have, uh, you know, the Mac OS or maybe even Linux, you just click on the link that I just clicked in the bottom right out there and you'll be taken to these Anaconda installers, right? Now, the instructions are mostly the same. It's very straightforward to install and get this set up. Now, I have a 64-bit Windows machine, so let me just click on it and I'll say the download is starting. Thank you for downloading, right? Now, what happens uh, is that you can see that it's downloading. It says 30 uh, seconds left out here, right? Now, let me just um, have this ready for you guys. And as soon as this downloads, it'll take a minute or two. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is, how simple it is to actually get started with Anaconda. You don't have to, uh, you know, work on uh, setting up Python individually, setting up your notebooks individually, getting them to talk to each other. Uh, you know, all of your uh, Jupyter notebooks, everything is installed by literally the the click of your mouse button guys well as soon as this downloads as you can see it's almost done let me click on it to actually get started with it now I'm gonna click on this and uh, it should basically uh, start setting it up now you can see that there's the anaconda setup here it says welcome to anaconda 321.0564 bit right so I'll just click on next uh, this is the license agreement uh, uh, I, I presume that all of you are going to read this but again I we know that not a lot of people read it but of course it's advisable to do so I'm gonna hit I agree and I'm gonna be installing this for all the users right now I'm gonna need administrator rights to do this uh, if it was just for me it was fine now it's gonna ask me where it has to install anaconda uh, I'm fine with the actual location if you want to change it up you can click on browse uh, you can change it up wherever you want right fantastic I'm gonna click next and here uh, it says add anaconda 3 to the path variable uh, the, you know if you have Python installed previously it might require uh, you know it might cause you a little bit of problems but if you have uninstalled everything fine and you're starting up from scratch uh, you can add this out later as well so let me just click install let me click on show details now it's gonna start uh, you know installing and again this is this should take a couple of minutes because it will not only set up Python, it will set up everything, uh, you know, that comes with respect to uh, Python libraries as well. You can see on your screen, in fact, it's showing scikit-learn, Seaborn, stats model, uh, you know, all of these are basically libraries and things that are dependencies uh, which are required for Anaconda to run. Now, let me just give it a minute or two and as soon as it uh, it's done installing, we'll just check out how simple it is to get started. 
All right, guys. So this took somewhere around a solid five minutes to install. So if at any point of time, if it feels like it is actually stuck in any of these steps, please understand that it is actually having to install and configure a lot of things for you. So of course, it's going to take a good amount of time, right? So I'm going to hit next. Uh, it says working with uh, Jupyter Notebooks and Python is a breeze. So you can hit next and uh, here eventually it will open up a page where you want to uh, get started with Anaconda and it will open up the tutorial as well now for the sake of this tutorial let me just click finish here and let me refresh it fantastic now to check if your anaconda has been installed fine or not just search for anaconda here you will see a lot of things right so you'll see anaconda navigator prompt spider powershell prompt and all of that the simplest way to check if python is installed is you can uh, click on powershell here uh, just type in python out here and if you type in Python and it gives you this kind of an output, which is Python 3.8.8, well, it means that it has worked, right? Now, of course, when Python works, what is the most important thing we have to do? We have to uh, type in hello world, right? So let me just do this, hit enter, and as you can see, Python runs fine. Now, this is just the PowerShell prompt. So what I'm gonna do next is open up the Jupyter Notebook, right? In fact, let's actually try to open up the Navigator so you guys will have a complete picture of what what it looks like uh, to uh, you know run anaconda and uh, have a working graphic user interface which is again very uh, nice to use and it, it it's very power uh, packed and it gives you a lot of features to use as well right so again this is going to take uh, 30 seconds to one minute to open up for the first time so uh, let's just see as soon as it opens up all right so uh, the navigator has opened up usually this is where you would go on to uh, you know open up any other dependencies that you have with respect to uh, you know python the best part about anaconda is you can install a lot of different things and not just python now if you guys are into data science and data analysis r programming language is something which is super popular uh, through this you can install r programming language as well right you can see this r studio at the bottom right if you click on environments at the top left it'll tell you what are the environments which are ready uh, to be used what are already installed if you want to create one more environment on your own if you want to import it from somewhere else all of this is possible right you can go on to check the learning part of it where they have a couple of tutorials uh, on how to use anaconda how to use a lot of stuff uh, which are dependent to anaconda you can find a lot of information about their community and more right now as a python developer uh, you guys will be mostly uh, interested into working with the jupyter notebook so if you just type in jupyter notebook you will understand that with respect to anaconda itself we already have a jupyter notebook that is there right now look it is uh, the jupyter dashboard is here it's fantastic now it's uh, to check if it's working or not let me just click on new python 3 notebook here i'll click on new i'll click on python 3 now as soon as we are here let us just type in print welcome oh i forgot the bracket no issues print welcome to great learning right a very simple command i am going to hit run on the top and it did print right so guys basically this is all it takes to get started with python if you want to work with the command line interface you'll basically use the powershell prompt if you want to go on to use the jupyter notebook you can use it if you want to install any other dependencies any other languages work with multiple environments it is possible to do so in the navigator right so guys with this we have come to the end of this very short video on how you guys can install and set up uh, anaconda i hope everything that we've covered is clear to all of y'all on that note thank you so much for watching my name is anirudh rao and i'll see you on the next one if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell this is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from great learning and of course guys if you enjoy this video show us some love and do like this video knowledge increases by sharing right so make sure you share this video with your friends colleague and everyone who can make use of it and at the end of it make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments.